All right. So for tonight's homework, as I told you in class, there's going to be a math paper uh, that's due for tonight. And so here's how you're going to check it out. You're going to go to calendar. And let's click and see what the homework is for tonight. It is math paper number three and click assignment under the assignments. Okay. So it's no IXL homework tonight. We go straight to Edmodo, back to Edmodo. And if we look under the spotlight, we'll see that there's one assignment that's due. So let's click that. And it says mathematics paper number three. All right. So we read through the directions. And once you've done that, um, you're going to follow these steps. All right. So you've already written your paper, and now you're ready to type it up. So once you're ready to once you're ready to type, you're going to go down to template math paper number three. You don't have to open this up. These are just the directions that I gave you already that you already have in your hand. You go to template math paper three and you click it. And this is going to download onto your computer. So once it's downloaded, it's going to ask you um, if you have a Mac, it'll look like this. But if you have a regular computer, it'll ask you to save or to open. You just click open. Alright, once you open it up, you now have the Word document open where it says type your name here, your complete name, type your complete name, and then your teacher's name is Mr. Joseph Almeida, that's fine, and then Logical Mathematics is the class, and it says type your university cor here correctly. So I'll type in the university that I'm a part of and then you can leave the date the same because that's the date that it's due it's due today and mathematics paper number three keep that the same question or problem uh, Sammy Valentino is on a submarine working on a secret mission the submarine is currently 30 feet below sea level if the submarine dives 16 feet more and then rises 20 feet where will the submarine end up in terms of sea level and then you type in your response the question asked me to now, this response doesn't need to be more than seven or eight sentences, okay? It's not a long assignment. I just want you to get into the habit of writing, and I want you to have a word problem to solve. All right, so the question asked me to, and I would begin typing, and I would begin typing my response. Now, I type this on purpose because when you see the red squiggly lines, that means the word is misspelled. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit uh, control and, uh, or you're going to want to right click on the button. When you right click, it will actually help you to give you the proper spelling. If that's the word that you want, you hit that word and it'll correct the spelling for you. If you see a green line, it means that your sentence is probably incomplete. And remember to capitalize your I's, okay? and then you would continue writing and answer the question and then finally uh, give me a final answer and explain your your reasoning along the way okay once you're already done with your response I am done with my response of course this is not what you would write but once you're done with your response you're going to click um, file you're gonna go to save as and this is how I'd like for you to save your paper. Um, go straight to, let's see, where do you want to save this paper? All right, save it in a folder where you know you're going to be able to find it. I'm going to save it on the desktop, and then it'll be erased uh, once I'm done. All right, so. This is how I'd like for you to type in your your paper. I'd like for you to write MP for math paper, then three for math paper three, and then your first initial, the first initial of your name. So because my name's Joseph, I'm gonna put J, and your last name. So it'll be your first initial and your last name. And then make sure that it says word format 97 through 2004, or something to the effect of dot doc, dot doc, okay? And then you're going to save, and now it is saved. And you can see that 
the file name actually captured. Now what you would do is you would go back to the Edmodo site and right below click where it says attach file right below the type your response here you click file you're gonna find your file on the desktop that is under mp3 J Almeida it's right there I'm going to choose it and now as you can see it's attached there'll be an X here which means that if, if you attach the wrong document you can click X it'll get rid of it and then you can attach the right document but if that's the document you want you're all set if you want to add a response you can uh, such as this assignment was cool can we submit more math papers <laughs> To which I would say, of course you can, for other assignments that we have coming up. All right? And then you would hit Turn in Assignment. And your assignment is now attached. If you are not happy with the assignment that you handed in, you can resubmit the assignment. Um, but if you open it up, this is what I will see on my computer. Maybe not. Okay. I thought you could have read your assignment there, but I guess you can't. All right, but um, then you go back, and it says waiting for grade. If it says waiting for grade, just check just to make sure that you turned it in, and this should be your verification where it says waiting for grade. Okay? Turned in by me is your confirmation that I did receive it. You don't need to call me. Um, just know that if it says turned in by me, and if it says the file name, and... Um, everything's all set, then you have submitted the assignment the way it needs to be submitted. All right, hope this video helped you, and I look forward to reading your math papers. All right, take care. Bye-bye.